right, what we're going to do is we're going to take and draw a hydrogen atom on the board. And we're going to show you the cloud in the center and a wave. Wave mechanics, or quantum mechanics as it's known, is a stepping stone to particle mechanics and the key ring atom. Let me show you why. Now, one of the things that they found is an atom has a center. We'll draw the center. The other thing that we know for sure is it has a cloud. Like so. Now, on the original theory, there was a proton at the center, an electron orbiting. Since then, they found out this whole thing is cloudy. And one of the things they found was waves. There were waves, or what appeared to be waves, inside of the atom. So if we take what they say, waves, a wave inside of that, let's draw a wave. Now, the wave can go from one edge of the electron cloud to the other. So let's do that. Let's draw a wave in there. There's the wave. So, you want to know the direction it's going? That direction. That direction. That direction. And that direction. Now, let's draw another wave in there from end to end. We draw a wave from here. All the way over to here, all the way over to here. From that, that wave is going this way and this way. And like we started here, it was going here and here. So now, is that what they're seeing? One particle going all the way across here into a wave? Is that what they're seeing? Is one particle going all the way over here? Well, let's think something. What if there were two particles in this hydrogen atom? What if there's two particles in there? Is that possible? Well, think of it this way. Look here. If you take this wave and you circle it right here, you can have a particle circling here and a particle sort of circling here. Two particles. Is that possible? We were told a hundred years ago that there was one particle. What if there's more than one? What if there are actually thousands of particles circling around a core, like the key ring atom? Now, the other thing is they know is if you subject this to a magnetic field, it will have a top and it will have a bottom. Now, if you have a particle circling here and a particle circling here, and particles circling all around the atom, they're going to have an orientation, right or wrong. You're going to have a top. And you're going to have a bottom. Where is it going to be? It's, it's going to orient the way the atoms are circling. You can see a wave in here, but it's not necessarily a wave. Now, just remember, when Copernicus said that the earth rotated, the sun didn't go around the earth, it took people over a hundred years, okay, to get used to that idea. So just think, more than one particle. Now, if you go to a helium atom, look at this. Now, if you were going to look at this, what were you going to see? You're going to see little wave patterns all through this atom. So when you look at the two of these, and you look at this, how this could be a wave. Wave mechanics, quantum mechanics, is a stepping stone to get to the key ring atom and particle mechanics. Think outside the box. It's that easy. Remember, remember, Copernicus corrected the geometry. The Earth spun and rotated around the sun. What did we do here? We are getting the correct geometry. Physics and chemistry are easy with the correct geometry.
Thank you.